Lieutenant Governor Jacqueline Coleman visited Bowling Green High School this evening to speak on her and Governor Bashir's Education First initiative. WBKO's Sarah Phipps attended that event and is in studio now to tell us more about it. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Jean. Yes, Coleman was joined by students and faculty from Warren County Public Schools, Bowling Green Independent Schools, and even Western Kentucky University as she detailed her and Bashir's Education First plan. Coleman said if she had to sum up the initiative, it would be with three goals place children first, more teacher support, and ensure schools have the funding and resources they need. As the highest elected mother and teacher in Kentucky, this Education First plan is personal to me. I've walked in the shoes of the educators who wake up every day with one goal, to help kids in their classrooms become better today than they were yesterday. Coleman began by discussing how the initiative will help in combating the worsening teacher shortage in Kentucky. The initiative proposes a 5% pay raise for teachers, new teacher loan forgiveness, and bringing back the state's pension plan. When we look at how we can recruit and retain more teachers, that defined benefit plan is the number one reason that we see people not entering the workforce now or leaving the workforce now because it's not going to be there for them in the end. Coleman also addressed the current demand for more funding from Warren County Public School Superintendent Rob Clayton. There are zero dollars in our budget for textbooks and technology for our students. I don't know how that is possible and, and I, I feel for our teachers every day having to make ends meet and make it work with no help and no support. Universal pre-K was also a hot topic for Coleman with the Lieutenant Governor emphasizing how it would help not just students but the whole family unit. Universal pre-K helps parents join the workforce, rejoin the workforce, and also ensures that every child walks through the door kindergarten ready. Currently, two-thirds of our kids walk through the door on the first day of kindergarten ill-prepared. The Coleman's biggest topic of the night was addressing students' mental health in schools. Coleman criticized the school system for not talking with students about mental health, as well as the effects acts like Senate Bill 150, which would permit teachers to use the pronouns they see fit for students, amongst other things, could have on the student body. This bill does nothing to help the needs of those students every single day. That is what we should be focused on, is meeting the needs of our students and not playing political games with our schools. When I spoke with Coleman about funding for the initiative, she said that the combination of the state's economic development and rainy day fund, Kentucky could give all school employees a raise, fund universal pre-K, and quote, still have the third largest budget surplus in Kentucky's history. Reporting in studio, Sarah Phipps, WBKO News.